Hello boys and girls, welcome to Pick Over My Shoulder in Wasteland 2. I I'm running out of ideas in the Rail Nomas camp. I mean I've been trying to uh well independently locate the breaker shoe and even though I have a few wild ideas, either we don't have the means to check those ideas or or we have run into dead end. Uh, we went by the big rock where we picked up uh, this guy and we got him drunk but that didn't reveal anything and right now I'm getting outright uh, paranoid about uh, missing obvious clues. However, I did figure out what this place is. Uh, the uh, the cart that has spooky wind attached to it and it's and that's filled with empty bottles this has to be the one of the rail cards that, uh, that was featured in uh, Wasteland 1 where, uh, where this guy lived uh, uh, whom you had to give some squeeze-ins and I want to try something here let's get this guy drunk again I can't remember what was this guy's name. Maybe, maybe he was called just the hobo. Uh, either way, uh, all the all the time that I have been on this map, I was kind of wondering uh, where he might be, and and now I just put two and two together and wanted to sort of share the moment. And now that I have, I think we're down here. Not ever since the guy died. Isn't that what you mean? Uh, another point of paranoia is uh, I, I suspect that maybe he's carrying. If the breaker shoe isn't that big, maybe he's carrying it around. I don't know. Okay, so what was this? I start forgetting what each cart was for. Okay, this was where we picked up all those weapons. And and the safe. But yes, since I'm running out of ideas, I think it's time to go and talk to Casey. The good thing about talking to the chiefs is that even though I didn't achieve, um, didn't achieve uh, releasing Jesse when I talked to Kekaba, I did get some XP out of that. So that's what I'm counting on here as well. Yes. So I need to check, yeah, she wasn't wearing her smartest color, or the... Let's, let's wear this just in case. What are you doing back here? Go get my daughter away from that monster Kekaba! <laughs> Damn, Rangers, didn't expect that. Thank John Henry for small favors, I suppose. <laughs> Why don't you take this little baby's a sign of my thanks? I was saving it for a special Topekin, but you'll make better <laughs> use of it, I bet. <laughs> oh, why, thank you. Wait, show Might me. Might not be polite, but the sooner you're gone, the better. Okay, but he is still not up to... up to new level. <laughs> okay, let's, let's keep talking. 
talk to him then. What are you doing back here? Go get my daughter away from that monster Kekaba. He holds my daughter for ransom and he wants to make peace? No, I will not bargain with kidnappers. It wouldn't be me killing her. It would be Kekaba. And I would avenge her just as he avenged his daughter when I... Oh, great John Henry. How did I not see it before? If Jesse died because of... Because I wouldn't... All right, all right. Go tell Kekaba I'm done killing. I'm ready to bargain. Ooh. Have him meet us at the broken rails and we'll hash this out. We'll bring the brake shoe and fix the rails in exchange for the spike and half the profits from the rail trade. But the spike must return to us. That is not negotiable. We can't both have it. Mm. Should I? Let's risk it. You're right. If we could trust each other to stop at the same time, we could have peace. But I can't trust Kekaba as far as I can spit. I mean, just look at the spike. It don't mean nothing to them, and he still won't give it back. We both want it too bad. Except my reasons are good, and his ain't. Hmm. Are you saying we should use the golden spike to repair the rails? Make it the final act that gets our train going again? Like some kind of <laughs> symbolism? <laughs> Symbolism! I like it. Particularly since it'll be in our rails, and not in their station house. Okay, Rangers. If you can get Kekaba to agree to that, along with the rest of it, then we have a deal. Okie dokie. I won't ask him about this because... Might not be polite, but the sooner you're gone, the better. Yeah, yeah. I can uh, celebrate with the menu I save. We're gonna need a movement montage here. Also, before, before the montage kicks in, what are you saying now? Show me that golden chariot or shut up. Okay, off we go. Let us step forward. See what the logbook says. Uh huh. Yo. I have you returned. Did I not tell you to stay out of our affairs? Well. What's done is done. <laughs> what exactly are his terms? You mean, use the golden spike as a final symbolic act that gets our train going again? <laughs> I... I... Damn it. Yes. <laughs> that is a John Henry solution if I ever heard one. But the rest of it, he hasn't conceded a thing. He gets everything he wants and I still have one arm and can't drive my train. Give me one good reason why I should change my mind when he has not changed his. Hmm. Let's, let's ask about stuff. You think reminding me of the wreck the Atchison's caused, the wreck that cost me my arm, will make me change my mind? I should kill you for this insult. I... But... But no. You are right. We Topekans have learned a sad truth in this war. We cannot ride the rails alone. We need the Atchisons just as they need us. But the debt and blood. I don't see how Casey James can ever spill enough to repay it. I'm afraid I... Huh? 
No. Wait. <laughs> I know what to do. All right, Rangers. Go to Casey at the entrance to the Atchison camp and tell him this. If, in addition to returning the brake shoe and repairing the rails, he is willing to lose his left arm, then I am willing to give the Atchison's half our profits and welcome them back into our camp. But the Golden Spike stays with us. That is not negotiable. We can't both have it. You're kind of a literal guy, aren't you? I will be there shortly with the Golden Spike, ready to deal. But if this is some kind of trick, I'll pound that spike through his heart. Choppers, bring me the Golden Spike. Hmm. Go, Rangers, and may you speak with silver tongues. Um, let's reassure you. Come on, you gotta help me. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Oh, Ralphie gets a level up. Let's let's deal with that first. Copy Echo One. This is Ranger Command. Echo One, your recent Jeez. progress merits a field promotion for one of your teams. Congratulations, Echo One. You've done well. <laughs> Goody. Okay, let's see. Can we get some immediate benefits for him? Then still goody. All right, looks like we're gonna need another montage. What about you? What are you saying now? Okay, we get it. I don't think he's gonna like this proposition and frankly I think we can do better. So I'm actually going to roll back to a previous save and I think this might be the time to talk to Melissa. I'll be right back. So as an alternate uh, maybe solution I'm going to attempt to talk to Melissa before we try to broker a deal. Screen, fuck you. Okay. Don't take too much time, Rangers. Oh. My gun is getting impatient. Oh. Don't take too much time, Rangers. My gun is getting impatient. Damn. I was hoping she could give us some information. Because if, if she. If she says that the original thing was an accident, then that means that means Kekaba doesn't have any. Well, he's already quite uh, quite a bit too much too literal for his own good, but uh, demanding a retribution for his missing arm if it was just an accident anyway. Is bound to irk some some of these guys. I think seems kind of pointless, doesn't it? Oh, he's gone! Damn it! Okay. Tic situs est faetum, currus avriga paterni. If that's the case, let's return to the meeting hall. I think. So we're back at this point. Going to the other camp. I have a 
haven't even uh, given Ralphie the promotion yet. Somehow I don't see how this can go too well. But since Melissa right, didn't, didn't say anything useful... Okay... What does Kegaba have to say for himself? Lose my left arm? Is he insane? I... No. I, oh. I'll do it. After all that I've done, what's the loss of an arm? I deserve worse than that. Oh. Tell him we have a deal. <laughs> well, that was easier than I thought. Um, make a save here. Let us finish it. <laughs> Ready to drive in the spike? Your arm first. <laughs> For the good of both our tribes, I... I'm ready. Is he just gonna tear it off? By himself? As a son of a new brotherhood, here's the brick shoe. Now the spike. For the good of both our tribes. You are one tribe, Tufus. <laughs> give my people the good news. I'm glad it's over. Oh, so am I. Arm. Let's get to work. Some sweet promotions. Can we? Can we? Oh. Well, I guess we can't get it. This is Chief Kekaba with good news. Thanks to the Desert Rangers, the feud between the Topekans and the Atchisons is over at last. Finally, we can begin to work together again. And we'll soon have the rails repaired and the trains running. The real nomads will rise again. Okie dokie. I want to make a little round around the around the people, see what they're speaking now. Also, what what are you telling now? Hicitus est faetus. Huh. Kurus avriga paterni. Okay, so whatever his deal is, it wasn't resolved with this uh, thing. Okay, so let us let us do some population rounds. See what everybody speaks of. There isn't really anybody to talk with on this side, so let's go to the bar, I think. Bar and store. Hello. Bar in Topekan territory. <laughs> I'm always happy to squeeze libations for the storied and heroic paladins of the desert. To be honest, you already see enough as nails, but <laughs> if that's what you want, you came to the right place. Buy all you need. It's all based on sale. <laughs> okay, how many? 
can we get? We don't want that many. Let's see. Yeah, that should do. Come back again. Distribute them. One for Rafi. One for him. And one for him. Now, let's go check the other trader. I'm going to handle the promotions later. After the celebrations and whatnot. Do you have anything new to say? Okay, mm we don't have anything to trade right now, so let's carry on. What we want is residence. We want to go here. Rangers, Kekaba said you worked it out. We've got peace and I'm free. Oh. Thanks. Hello, Jesse. I'm gonna head home and see my dad. Yeah, there's a little surprise at home. <laughs> Don't blame us. Hope. Want to say anything? Okay, so this was the archives, right? Yep. And the eye catching books remain the same, so. Thank you for saving my Ralphie. I'm sure he'll make a wonderful ranger. What's that on the table? It's green. that uh, the residents specifically don't say anything. Let's go check the other side, I think. Do -do 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 -do. Later on we are going to check the meeting hall for doodads as well, it's just not now. Oh! These oh these are open now. Yeah, okay, let's let's go to Atchison Camp first and then let's return to the meeting hall. Onward. Okay, what about uh, what about Melissa now? They Hello? let me cut my husband down. Oh. I have buried him at last. Thank you, Rangers. Uh, joy, cheers, I guess. Yep, 
you're only starting. Trader or is this the residence? Residence. Situs est paetum, currus avriga paterni. Okay, so now what about this guy again? Ah oh no, that's the empty house. Uh, never mind. Hello. Whoa. Oh, that's uh, Ralphie's uh, uh, Ralphie's attribute, or not attribute, but perk about finding more doodads because we totally needed that. You will carry the rest of it. Oh, he is no longer here. Okay. Well, did he leave a safe or something? Nope. So, can I see? Rangers, good to see you. Oh, are we welcome now? Where's Jesse? It kills me we were so blind about how to make peace. And I thank you again for all you did to make it happen. Everything is so much better now. And us and the Topekans should have the train up and running again in no time. I would like to see that. Ken si non tenvit. Magnis tanmen exidit absis. Okay, okay. Right, I'm gonna pause recording until the Rangers. Oh, oh, hands. that's Jesse. Yeah, never mind. Uh, wow, okay. you guys are badass. You saved Ralphie and ended this stupid feud. You're the best. <laughs> yeah, never mind that we got your dad mutilated. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna pause recording until we get uh, to the uh, meeting hall. So, see you there. Okay, we're back at the meeting hall. And apparently the side doors are now open. I wonder what would have happened if we if we would have cut the power. I mean, can you imagine that nothing good? would have come out of this. It's just, just a hunch. So, safes. I think I'm 
going to do upgrades first. Oh, this one's actually blocking the way. Okay, goody. So yeah, we can crack this one, but this one will require reloads. What else do we have here? Is there anybody in here? Oh, okay, Koba is still in here. Okay, I think let's do our business sneakily then, because he might not like it uh, that we sneak about. at saves. Quick save here and I will resume recording once we open these. Hello. Okay, because because we care we give our uh, resident youth some drugs. So ammo. And you can carry these for now. You have to carry these for now. Goody. What about the other one? If she botches this up, I'm gonna try repairs first. <gasps> Yoink! Whoa, what's this? Shotguns! this again. Okay, let her carry this for now and then he's gonna have to uh, do the modifications. Goody. saves because if he's gonna break his toes again then I want to be able to undo it. Ooh. Oh, okay so this one this one will go away after a while. If that's the case let's, uh, let's check out the other side while he's healing his knuckles. Because I think there are at least two safes on the other side of the hole. Also, show, show me this. Shotgun. Well, since uh, she's using the shotgun in quite close range anyway, I think we can we can deal with less and uh, less and distance. Have it back. <laughs> we got silver tongue and golden balls. Oh, this one is still closed. Okay then. Uh, if that's the case. I think upgrades, uh, updates, uh, promotions are in order. Copy Echo One. This is Echo One. I'm happy Whee! to see several members of your team have earned field promotions. Congratulations, Echo One. You've done well. Thank you. Manual save. Does this 
mean you will be able to disarm stuff. Do you get perks? You do! Okay. I'm gonna decide on perks later. Right now, let's, let's assign skills. I want to give Ralphie the medic as well, because everybody, everybody needs to be able to perform some variety of first aid. Uh, I think with him, let's wait until the next promotion. add to this. Safe cracking and lock picking and alarm picking is what we need to what we need to upgrade. So how about now? Ah oh, he has a chance. Not a very good one. So I won't be recording the whole process but he has a chance. Whoa he did it took many tries by the way and now we can't get through here oh just a minute left in that case let us let us check those perks he gets a perk does Ralphie get a perk nope he doesn't get a perk but she does show me Oh. Well, this one's handy, except <laughs> I usually send him ahead to uh, to set up uh, to set off the counter intentionally. Of course, one doesn't uh, doesn't uh, exclude the other, I guess. Hmm. This might be useful. Since right now he's the one with the lowest health of the punch. Huh. Okay, we have just cleared up the bruised knuckles. Also be useful. <laughs> I need to think. I need to think. Like I want to, I want to pick perks that are useful, but at the same time that are also. Oh, uh, this is still too so strong for us. Uh, that are useful, but at the same time that are going uh, hand in hand with the character development. Okay, so we can't open this one. So let's head back to this one then. Because now he can uh, he can punch again.
Before we carry on our uh, looting session, I think I'm going to break the episode here because we have achieved much and the focus uh, should remain on the whole truth thing. So next episode can fully focus on looting. So yes, for now, thank you much for watching. Bye bye and see you in the next one.